Welcome to Defotech TV on YouTube. Hello, good day. You're welcome to another edition of our online class. But today we'll be looking at a different topic, talking about the parts of the Nigeria. To a large extent, I've come to understand that so many persons do not still understand most of the parts. Some parts you see on the Nigeria and you don't know the function of most of those parts. So in this very video, I'll be explaining what this very component, the parts they are used for. Now, I have to talk about the, the terminals for the siren, the terminals for the strobe, um, the, the damper button, the switch uh, terminals, uh, the, the jumpers that are used to program the energizer. We'll be talking about that today. So that when next you come across your energizer and you see those terminals, you should know exactly what they are meant for. Because by the time they said it, if the purpose of the thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. By the time you know this, this will help build you up even while you're trying to even go to the next level, the next stage of using the energy to understand, okay, what are these parts really used for? Even if there are faults, you have faults with a particular energizer, it helps you to decide to, to, to say, okay, fine, this is where this problem is coming from. I just hope you sit back and enjoy this video. And when we come back, we'll come talk about all we've learned. See, um... For your energizers, one thing you should understand, what is this? This is, this is your tamper button, this, this will spring. Now, if that is not pressed, the energizer would not turn on. You start hearing this sound, let's assume we try to turn it on. You hear the, you hear that sound? Saying that the energizer it's not ready, the tamper button. That's why you have when you press the cover. And there's another option of Q. Trying to, if you don't want to press it. See, there's a position for a jumper here. Under. You see, the two pins there. Under. Those pins, you can actually... I don't know if I can... Okay, that's, that's a pin here. That's it there. If you close that pin with a jumper, that thing comes on um let me see okay if i remove this this would not uh, work so as you may have a spare jumper I just place it here this energizer will turn on but now we don't have a jumper there okay now for the siren let me show you your siren port yes so person should not see this you see the first is the siren plus minus next is light positive and negative and the third is the switch. That switch is used to program your energizer. If you want to connect uh, smart devices to it, remote control to it, you want to control your remote re uh, control your energizer remotely using your phone, using um, what's the name um, a remote. Just think of any device. It can be connected to that terminal. So, but if you have a siren, like I said, siren. The positive part there, and uh, that's a plus, and the other is a minus. Then the, the light is a strobe light. You know these flashers, right? Flashers are connected to that port. We have there, uh, and why use flashers most times? You can have series of buildings with electric fences. They can be maybe in a street and there's electric fences. If there's intrusion on any of them, that flasher will begin or maybe the alarm goes off because sometimes alarm can go off you don't even know the particular place coming from but when you see that flasher it helps you to identify the very building where you have that uh, intrusion so that's for that then this very fuse this one here this is your fuse for your charging it comes from there to protect this board from charging excess voltage this helps cut off uh, if there's uh, maybe a salt kind of sometimes if uh, that fuse is blown it means it, this panel would not come on through the AC when the AC power socket is connected all right then this is the cable from your transformer transformer that charges the battery so this is the cable from that transformer why this fuse you have one one is for the battery protection and uh, auxiliary, the other one is for the auxiliary. So if this uh, battery protection fuse is blown, uh, most times you don't have, um, the battery system doesn't work. You connect the battery, it should not turn on. If I decide to take this one out, for example, this 
two is at the top here, one at the top. It means the energizer will, on battery mode, it can't even turn on. Then the other on bottom, most times if your siren doesn't work sometimes, you put your energizer, siren and stroke terminals are not working, check that fuse. At least the fuse, the one at the bottom that controls those uh, parts. So these jumpers, they are also used to program the energizer. So I think that's all for, for now. Yeah, thanks. I hope you enjoyed that video. I really do hope you do. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Share this video massively. And please advise others to join us so that we are able to sanitize the space, the space of, for electric fencing where we are able to push out quacks totally out of the field. Till we meet again in our next class. Do have a lovely week. Bye for now. The Food Tech Team.